Not every sewer is as big as this or in as good a condition. It's the result of years of investment and maintenance by the water and sewerage companies. There are thousands of miles of sewers and drains underground. And unlike that one, most are very small and around half are privately owned. Many are unmapped and the owners aren't aware that they're responsible for them, at least until they have to stump up for repairs, which can be expensive. As a result, DEFRA, the Government Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, has decided that it will be easier and clearer for homeowners if the water and sewerage companies take on responsibility and ownership of all the private sewers draining into the public sewerage system. Well, here's Stuart, and he's working on a collapsed sewer. So, Stuart, how will this really benefit property owners? It'll take away the stress in the first instance, and also, if you can imagine, having your drains repaired or cleaned, it costs thousands of pounds, and that will also benefit the uh, property owners as well. And when is this going to happen? Well, any sewer or private sewer which drains into a public sewer uh, from the 1st of October will be taken over by the water companies. Well, that's great. It simplifies things for property owners when dealing with private sewers. But nowhere is it more confusing than somewhere like this. Drains within a property boundary that serve only the one property are the householders, and that won't change. They're still theirs to maintain. But this house's drain pipes run under next door's garden to join up with the pipes from next door. So it's their waste, but in their garden. Whose responsibility is that bit? It's often the cause for unneighbourly disputes and arguments when drainage problems arise. But what about a pipe that runs from the property, under the pavement and the road, to the sewer in the middle? Who pays for digging them up to repair the pipe underneath when they go wrong? Many of them are already very old. Well, it won't matter after the change. They'll all be taken care of by the water companies. And with me here is Pamela Taylor from Water UK. So Pamela, just to clarify, all of the pipework within the property boundary remains unchanged if it drains just one property, but all the shared pipework and the drains outside of the property boundary, they'll be publicly owned. That's exactly it. Things will stay the same if the pipework running probably under your garden drains just your house. But if the pipework running under your garden and your property is draining other people's sewage as well, say from, from your neighbours, then water companies will then take responsibility for that pipe work. They'll also take responsibility for the pipe that runs under the pavement and connects with the main sewer. And will there be a cost? There will be a cost. The government estimates that between £3 and £14 on every person's bill each year. That's around maybe a pound a month. And what is the cost for exactly? Well, water companies will be taking on thousands of miles of extra pipes that previously their customers owned. Now they're going to take responsibility for them. Some of those pipes are old and in pretty poor condition. So they'll need the money to unblock them, to repair them, to renew them. So this is quite a commitment that they're taking on. Bringing those private sewers that are not operating adequately up to standard is a massive task and it won't happen overnight. Mapping, maintaining and repairing is a lengthy process and a long-term commitment. What this will mean for you depends on where you live. To see how the change will affect the property you live in, click on the house type relevant to you.